This is episode number three of Rivers Art Colors. Uh, my name is Nick Rivers, and in this episode, I'm going to be coloring that cyborg drawing that I did in uh, episode number four of uh, Rivers Art Draws. Um, so now that I have my artwork uh, exported in uh, 300 DPI um, as a grayscale image, I take that and, um, and convert it to CMYK. And as you can see, I already have the flats already prepared and laid out, so I'm just going right into rendering. Um, one of the things I wanted to, to mention was, um, you know, I, I like to, when I'm, when I'm done drawing at night or when I'm done working on whatever I'm working on that day and, and I've got a few extra minutes of, of, of time to relax, uh, Sometimes I'll scroll through and uh, I'll lurk on uh, superhero hype forums, or I'll uh, I'll look on the uh, comic book movie forums on Reddit, and and um, you know all kinds of uh, assorted geeky things, I guess. And um, I don't know. I'll look through those and kind of read through some of the comments. Um, one one of the things that um, that caught my attention. Was I, I saw this thing about uh, um, I guess Cyborg is going to be in one of the Justice League members in the Justice League movie, and it's kind of replacing Martian Manhunter. Uh, same thing they've done already with the New Fifty Two Justice League, where they've got Cyborg in there, and you know I suppose the reason for that is uh, diversity, and because um, when you look at the Justice League, they're pretty much it's the all white team <laughs> um, so with the with the the, the need to kind of have a little bit more diversity in, in in the current comics and in the movie they're throwing cyborg in there and I, I read a couple of comments about people saying well you know um, they they don't see why they can have Martian Manhunter and cyborg in there and I agree with that. I, mean, I, I think they're both uh, good characters. Uh, I think with Martian Manhunter, uh, I, I think that he's maybe a little bit too overpowered for film. And I can just see the reasoning of putting Cyborg in there instead. Cyborg is younger. You know, Vic Stone, he's, he's a younger character. He um, has a little bit more... Um, inexperience than the rest of the Justice League members so uh, you know he's a uh, he, he might kind of serve as as the audience's uh, perspective uh, uh, as one of the league members um, so I can see why they did that um, I still I like Martian Manhunter though uh, but like I said they'd have to change him for film I think I think he's maybe a little too overpowered uh, to have a team with basically two supermen on there, um, and I, I, you know, another thing that I've got to say too is I, I don't see, uh, I don't see Cyborg really as a staple of the Justice League like Martian Manhunter. I, I think, I think Cyborg for me he will always be a Teen Titan. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's kind of cool the notion that he was a Titan that kind of graduated to the Justice League, but. You know, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm cool with just them sticking him right into the league. Um, but let me know your thoughts on it. If you, if you follow any DC comics and um, what, who would you like to see in the Justice League movie and any future Justice League projects in the comics, whatever, would you, would you rather see Martian Manhunter uh, um, or would you rather see the Cyborg? Um, let me know. Uh, it'd be pretty interesting to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Uh, back to the drawing, though. Um, one of the things I, I did kind of differently um, with his uh, skin tone, because I, you know, I, I left those um, kind of that kind of peach fuzz on the top of his head. So what I did is I, I flattened all of that when I was done with rendering it, and I went in with the uh, sponge brush, uh, the sponge sponge tool, and desaturated that okay it gives a little bit more of that uh after shave kind of i don't know um there's hair but barely kind of effect um and then going into the metal 
I pretty much use the same technique all over the place on this one. Just again, soft brush, picking areas where I want to use the the solid brush, and just fading areas out with uh, the eraser tool. You know, um, a lot of my uh, one of the things I want to point out is I, I think probably from this point on I'll I'll, I'll be talking more about other things than just the uh, the process itself um, unless I can think of something that I might not have covered um, let me know if that's more fun for you guys to you know uh, I, I feel like I pretty much covered a lot of my the basics of uh, of how I do what I do um, so you know I, I still have yet to get around to doing a, a video that's a little bit more slower paced, uh, um, taking view through things a little bit more uh, intimately. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, um, but anyhow, you know, I'll get to that eventually. Um, but it, it's, I mean, there's not a lot to be said about it. It's, uh, you know, I'm making sure your brush is set at a uh, I'd set up pin pressure sensitivity and you know just it's a lot of it's in the settings a lot of the look is in the settings um, you know 300 dpi I've got I make sure that one of the things I, I, I want to stress because I don't do it as often as I should um, but it would really it'll really make your artwork stand out more as if when you're done I, I'm, I'm doing this on a very small screen um, so one of the things, uh, you may want to do is when you're finished with your, your artwork, uh, if you're working on a small screen like I am, I'm working on a, on a, like, I think it's 13 inch, uh, MacBook, um, old 2007 MacBook. So one of the things you want to do is, um, you'll want to, you'll want to enlarge your piece to a hundred percent. So you can see like some of the areas where you may have trailed off, um, and, and clean those up a little bit. Like I said, I I honestly I don't do it as often as I should. That's most of the time, like these drawings I'm doing for you guys, I'm saving them for web view. So usually you're not gonna see that you know a great amount of detail in the artwork anyway because it's compressed down so far, um, but. You know, it's a good thing to remember if you're, especially if you're doing something for a poster for print. And, um, you know, that's really all there is to that. Um, I'd like to do uh, uh, maybe a, a couple of uh, themed episodes. I've got some episodes backlogged here for you guys, uh, but I'd like to do uh, maybe something for um, Star Wars next week. Uh, so. If I can get around to it, I'll, I'll you might see uh, the next episode of Rivers Art Draws might be Star Wars related. Um, otherwise, um, I definitely want to do something like a Christmas uh, episode for you guys too. Um, honestly, maybe it'll help me get me in more in the spirit of Christmas because I'm not feeling it this year to be honest. I. I I've just had too many uh, things going on to, to really feel the Christmas spirit. It kind of sucks because I know a lot of uh, people around me are, are really into Christmas this year, but it's not me. <laughs> it's just a lot of uh, a lot more things I've got to see I've got to buy for people. and I don't know. It's not really falling for the, the whole... Uh, marketability of Christmas this year well we've got his uh, Terminator eye glowing uh, you know you'll notice I po put a little bit of a afterglow on the metal just I don't know it looks a little bit more interesting that way um, and just going in like I said before getting a little bit more tight in my drawing and fixing some areas and you know uh, using the smudge tool to kind of fix certain areas um, that may have went outside the lines um, and then just adding a 
gradient background with my layer effects um, with a gradient editor and happy with that so I copied it over and flattened it and now I'm um, turning that into a mask and putting um, um, just using the uh, brush tool to if you hold down shift and, and, and go down like and like and use your pen tool your brush tool uh, if you hold down shift it'll give you a straight line so that's what I did to get my grid lines in there and just mask it off with a layer mask and voila he's got a, a kind of a cool grid pattern and as usual I will have the finished artwork in the description below um, please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching again, guys, and I'm out.